Hey everyone, let's stick with us versus herd. Today I lost $477 in realized loss. And honestly, today was just one of those days where things didn't click, you know, for me. I mean, the last time I traded this bad, and I'm not talking about dollar amounts, was October 23rd, which was you know, two months ago, October 23rd is where I just, I just couldn't hit a single trade. Like today, I couldn't hit a trade on DraftKings. I couldn't hit a trade on Penn, Snap. Now the thing about, the thing about uh, Penn and Snap, both of these trades were profitable and I didn't take the money. So it's my own fault, my own fault. So, you know, maybe it was a long weekend. Maybe I got lazy. Maybe I got a little sloppy. Maybe, you know, Regardless what happened, it's definitely my fault. Didn't take profits. DraftKings just didn't come to just didn't come to fruition. Just never never pushed up. I mean, the, today today honestly was a little bit on the tricky side. You know, we had the S and P's pushing up, down Nasdaq. Everything was pushing up, but the only stocks performing well were the Fang stocks: Facebook, Apple, Netflix, Google. I mean, Microsoft. I mean, it was it was it was crazy. It was crazy. If you, if you made money today, comment below, got paid. If you lost money today, comment below, learn a lesson. If you could do me a big favor, hit the like button for the YouTube algo. Kind of go through some of the things I'm looking at, some of the things I'm looking at for tomorrow. And, you know, when you when you have a bad day, it's okay. Just, just chalk it up to a bad day. Come back tomorrow, refresh. I mean, yes, it's disappointing. Yes, it's it's not good that I haven't had a bad day like this in, in, in two months. And we broke we broke that cycle. These are the kind of cycles that you don't want to break. But today was broke. I mean, I think I think honestly the biggest mistake today, you know, looking at looking at DraftKings, I got a little bit aggressive with it. When it broke range, thankfully when it broke range here, I mean I had to hel I held on to it all day. I was holding the 50 calls. When it broke range, I cut it loose. Thankfully, because this would have been a, a bigger loser. Uh pen. I mean, pen, same thing with pen. When it broke range, I bought I bought pen down in down in this area as well. It was like 90, 50 when it broke range down here 90. I cut losses for $133 loss and snap. So if you can kind of look at all these charts, they all look the same. They all look the same. I know you have a bear flag, bearish pennant, you know, on all of these, but because the reason why I felt comfortable buying the dip is because spy cues, everything was pushing up. And then you had some crazy price action like in Facebook. I mean, what what was this about? What was this about? All of a sudden, you know, everything's going the same way. And then all of a sudden, this just rips up to the upside. Apple, Apple just never stopped all day, but then like, you know, was selling off in the morning and then just decided to rip up same time Facebook did. Amazon. Amazon, same exact chart as Facebook at some point today, you know, earlier this morning, right at like 9.30, 9.15, it started to reverse. We had a double bottom here in the five minute at 9, 9.05, 9.10, and then just straight up from here. So it was just kind of kind of crazy on my watch list that the only stocks that were really performing well, you know, you know, Microsoft, look, look, at, look at this, Microsoft, same thing. Everything was turning down, was gap up and fade, and then they automatically just pick up these stocks. You know, just crazy. Google, look, look at what happened to Google here. Google was actually a little bit more stable in the morning, but then then decided to, you know, have two legs up here, one leg here, and then another leg here. So, I mean, honestly, over the weekend, we had a little bit of news. We had, you know, Trump finally signing the COVID or the stimulus deal or bill. You know, each American is going to get $600 check. House votes on the $2,000 stimulus checks to get the increase. However, the GOP most likely is going to block it. So GOP doesn't want to see $2,000 uh, checks. So we'll see. Trump wants to see it. House wants to see it. Democrats want to see it. But GOP does not. So I don't know what's going to happen. The other caveat here that could throw a little bit of wrench into your plans. I don't know what this means, but last night Trump said, see you in Washington, D.C. on January 6th. Don't miss it. Information to follow. So I don't know if this is a big event that's going to unwind, you know, what he's been leading up to in terms of, you know, what's been going on with the the voting situation i don't know what's going to happen it was you know we don't we don't know he just said watch out for january 6th which is actually you know in just two weeks from now so 
just be mindful when putting on positions that anything could happen. Looks like money was 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 flowing hard out of the big names that were, you know, some people could call them overvalued or you know whatever they are this way. But look, look, Snow took a ginormous drop, 20, uh, 20 point drop. I'm actually in a credit put spread for January. I'm short three ten. I'm I'm and along the three hundred five put, so I'm a little bit underwater on that. You know, Neo took a little bit of a hit as well. Neo came down. I mean, just just got crushed right down into like the 43, 44 area. I mean, it, it opened up almost 47, just fell all the way, all the way down. Zoom, Peloton, I mean, Zoom is down 23, 6%. Peloton came tumbling down too from, from 164 down to 152. I mean, this is this is some crazy, crazy price action where, where you know, it, are we leading up to a place where, you know these companies are going to be valued appropriately is money being sucked sucked out of these and going into apple facebook microsoft into safer names why are people why are people or or funds reacting this way to the market i mean it's it's i find it very 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 interesting and it's all probably all going to make sense soon what happens here but they're taking money out which I mean it makes sense. I mean they're putting money that were in big winners. If they had big winners, Pelton, they're throwing it into things that maybe. I mean Amazon had a good year. Apple had a good year, um, but those are the stocks that are running today. Uh, VIX and VXX. You know VIX try to catch up here. It actually did close positive on the day. I mean it came all the way down to twenty one, pop back up to twenty one eighty, and then VXX. You know, just kind of all day kind of climbing a little bit here so it was it was very interesting to me the price action i feel like we're about to find out that something is going to happen even though we don't know what happened but looking at looking at spy and looking at the cues i mean spy didn't even didn't even wince today i mean it's just pretty much going straight up into the close here you know was a little bit more volatility into the close and then the cues cues same thing <clears throat> It was having a dip and rip V-shaped recovery and just kept just kept going. And we can see here, you know, Q's touch all-time highs today. Spy, you know, I, I thought this was a like a fat finger, this 378.46. So it technically is breaking new highs. I mean, it closed, it closed in the new high territory. So I mean, I don't I actually don't really know. Did it, did it show up here? No, it doesn't show up on the future. So I think I think this was like a fat finger, fat finger event here uh, for Spy because that was a crazy thing that happened like a couple days ago, wasn't it? It just popped up during the day. Anyways, so right now I'm kind of playing defense. I'm not going to get as aggressive noticing that we're in the last week of the year. There's there's a potentially funds, individuals, retailers. Retail traders are rebalancing their portfolios, selling some stuff off, taking advantage of some things that are maybe underpriced. But it was just kind of interesting to me that, you know, a lot of stocks took a hit. And another thing that was very surprising, Shopify took a huge hit. You know, I mean, it's been on a tear, but I mean, it broke out of channel, but it took a, it took a huge hit down 80. When, when Amazon was running hot, I figured maybe the retail sector was going to pu push up, but Shopify took a big hit. Also, Etsy took a humongous hit too, down 6%. So the question is, you know, are they going to push this lower? Are they going to try to push these back down to the 50 day moving averages? Is this, is this rotation? I don't know. I don't, I honestly don't know, but I'm, I'm looking to find out here. You know, obviously I'm going to be looking at a lot, a lot of, a lot of charts overnight, just kind of trying to figure this thing out. But it's very, very interesting to me, the price action, what held up, what sold off and, you know, kind of where we're heading into January. I mean, I was expecting some selling pressure, but the way they did it today seemed very, very suspicious to me. So, you know, let me know how you did comment below. If you're suspicious as, as I am, comment below. Let me know. If, as always, stay safe, stay green. It's us for a cert.